going out and winning people to the Lord. We had, have had some unique experiences. I remember one time I got a telephone call. I was down in my office in the church. And the lady said, could you come over here and see me? This is Arlene Knuth. Do you know me? I said, no, I don't know you. I know about you. The reason I knew about her, Arlene Knuth, was the madam of a body house. Old, the old Lane Hotel it used to be down on 4th Avenue. It was kind of notorious for that. And I went down there to her office. I went in. I uh, didn't take a digging along to protect my reputation. I just went. And Arlene said, I have a girl in here. She's locked herself in her room. Said she's going to commit suicide. She's got a gun. And she'll shoot anybody that comes in there and tries to stop her. And I don't know what to do. I said, well, do you have a key to that room? She said, yes, I have a key. I said, give it to me. She gave me a key and I unlocked the door and uh, stuck my head in and I said, I'm a Baptist preacher. I'm going to come in there and see if I can help you and you can shoot me if you want to. And I went in the room and sure enough here this girl had sat down on the floor and put a blanket on the floor. She was sitting up in the middle of that blanket with both wrists cut and bleeding. All over that blanket she had, a, she did have, she had a big old revolver laying down there between her legs. Well, of course, the first thing I got was the gun. Got it out of the way and then I got her, I picked her up. And we put her in a car and took her down to the hospital. And they took care of her at the hospital. She was there a couple of days. They fixed her wrist all up. She didn't die. And as I sat there in the hospital, I talked to Arlene about the Lord. She said the reason she knew me, she'd been watching me on the television. But she didn't like what I said. But anyway, I took her back down to her place. And in a few days, she called me again. I said, can you come down here? I'd like to talk to you some more. And went down to the body house again to see the madam of the body house. So I, I talked to her about the Lord, and she couldn't believe that God would forgive her sins and that she could become a Christian. Though she said she she sort of wanted to, that she was getting kind of tired of that kind of life. But I prayed with her and went back and. In about a week, she called me again. Third time, I went down to the body house, getting me a habit for me to go down to the body house. And I went in and talked to Arlene about the Lord and about being saved. She said, do you mean to tell me that if I would trust Jesus Christ as my Savior, that all my sins would be forgiven? All of them? I said, Arlene, by the authority of the Word of God, by the promises of Jesus Christ, I assure you, if you would trust Jesus Christ to forgive you of your sin, save you, believe that He died on the cross to pay for your sin, you'll be as innocent in the sight of God as a little girl never even heard the word sex. She said, I want to be saved. And we knelt and prayed in the office of the madam of the body house and she gave her heart to Jesus. She came to church the next Sunday morning and made a public profession of her faith. And others had come, but when I introduced her, I said, Arlene, do you have anything you'd like to say to the people? She said, yes, I do. She said, you know, I watch this preacher on television. I would cuss him. I've called him every filthy, dirty name that the human mind could think of and the human tongue could utter. 
and I just listened to him because I couldn't help it, and I listened to him to cuss it. But she said, the more I listened, the more I decided that he was right and I was wrong. And I wanted to know what he knew about God and about Jesus Christ. I baptized Arlene that night. The last I heard of Arlene Knuth, she was in Carmel, California, in a home there. It was in Carmel with some super mansions in a very exclusive area along the coast there in Carmel. And she was, well, somebody had given one of those mansions to help uh, girls get them off the street and try to rehabilitate them. The last I heard of Arlene, she was down there in that place working, helping girls who were where she used to be, trying to get them to trust the Lord and change their lives. So that was one of the unique experiences that I've had down through the years and just going out trying to win people to Jesus Christ.